All right. Blue as the serpent. The Mirai will never know fear again. Looks like we're buffing up Twisted Fate. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Nami. All right, so we're going to be playing our second Nami deck, this one with Twisted Fate and with build or and with Piltoverns on, where Piltoverns on can have like these different rummages and things like that for some card advantage for Twisted Fate. Uh, looks pretty good. It has the two Ds up here. If you're newer to the channel, it means donation deck. This is our first viewer submitted deck. Um, so not one that I put together myself. We got uh, three of those to finish out the stream today. Um, yeah, so we're going to have like the Nami, Twisted Fates, Brayfin, Admiral Shelly, all that top end, which is really, really good. We'll have a good amount of other elusives with Burblefish and Songstress as well. So we're going to be like kind of like a late game elusive deck that will uh, finish games out very quickly with these elusives and buffing them up with Nami, buffing them up with Admiral Shelly that kind of stuff. We have to survive early though. And so that's why we're going to have like these Mirai Wardens. They're going to do a good job blocking for us and helping us survive early. Of course, the early turns, we're also going to want to just kind of be saving up spell mana because spell mana is what uh, levels up Nami and allows us to be able to play a lot of these spells later. And then also we're going to be trying to level up Twisted Fate. So we're going to have, you know, pick a card, rummage, pool shark, stress testing, that kind of stuff to get extra card advantage for leveling up Twisted Fate in the mid game so that's what our deck's all about we'll also have the elusives with, with poro cannon so let's see how it goes so we're gonna play some twisted nami we'll go play our five games in ranked darkness control up first cool, cool, cool. play darkness control is our very first deck and i've been wanting to play it again because you know it has two new champions with vagar and senna we're going to try that deck out again tomorrow. Let's go and get rid of the pick a card. We are going to want extra card advantage. But I think we're going to mulligan the pick a card and one Twisted Fate to start with. Could honestly see keeping both Twisted Fates, right? Because like we play a Twisted Fate, it's going to die to a Darkness immediately. So we'd have another one for another Destiny card. I just want to turn this Ballistic Pot into being a 2-3. Maybe this is not worth it. Of course, the more spells we cast, the better for Purple Fish as well. Man, this card is good. <laughs> it's just House Spider that gives you a much better one drop, but it takes away one of the health from House Spider. The whole Ballistic Pot attack could be not so great. We shall see. gonna play an elusive one of those save another two spell mana to help nami level up cool, cool. I think this is a rough matchup for us. 
Probably is. So I want to kill that thing right away. So I think get excited and red card combination. Their darkness to continue to gain more damage everywhere. Surprised they didn't, you know, they had three spell man. I'm kind of surprised they didn't just kill the Twisted Fate right there last round. So they wanted to do it this round, huh? Not sure exactly why. So yeah, these ignitions turn on the plunder for the harpoon. That is quite, it's quite nice. One goes down, thousands to go. I should have played Sprayfin first. So I could have had the spell mana. Yeah, because then I, I could have played Sprayfin also if I would have just played the Sprayfin first. Yeah, I just kind of did that instinctively, but I should have played Sprayfin first. Like to find a Nami. Mmm, good pokey stick. Good pokey stick. Eight damage. Okay, we got him down to four. Nothing wrong with that. I know I could go for the win with the get excited, but I think the smartest play is to just keep getting the ignitions and getting more cards. Because like if they just play a, a vile feast, which we just saw them have, and then they stay alive at one. Um, but I'd rather just have all these cards. Hmm. I guess that's gonna force our hand. Looks like. Okay, that should do it. No cards left. Very good. 
Because then even, like how we had that set up, then even just a, like how Vile Feast would have saved them the previous round, but would not have saved them right there. Want to know? Teemo Caitlyn? With Bandle, not Freljord. So Bandle gives you extra puff cap stuff. I want to keep both of these. But if they have round one... I still want to keep both of them. We just don't have very much removal. Especially, we don't have a very good early game. If that round one Teemo, it's going to be kind of a little bit of a problem. But yeah, Ballistic Bot put in so much work that last game. Those ignitions every single round were awesome. But they're also a real slow deck. So I can play that song Songstress round three with the ignition. Okay. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. But. Awesome card. So yeah, Bandal City gives you extra uh, ways to put puff caps into the deck. It's not as good against removal spells, though. Unfortunately for us, we're not playing removal spells, so we are going to be a little weaker. So that makes the bot a 2-3, so the bot can block puff cap pop now I give voice to the ocean song all right lots of nominees now and forever now and forever. We're at three spell mana. Ebb and flow. Safety is engaged. We'll still be able to add this one mana in for a fourth spell mana. Love it, but I kind of feel like I have to block. Please hurry. My people can't wait. Okay. So we're at four spell mana right now. This would be five. I just can't play Rummage or pick a card, but I really want to play them. I don't know, maybe playing Shelly's not correct, because then we need to get more spell mana. You would pick a card here, and just have these flash bombs, basically just say I'm going to draw these flash bombs. And that means I'm drawing five cards at the beginning of the round, right? Four, card four cards at the beginning of the round. Oh, well now maybe I can. I want to play the ebb and flow. Yeah, if I want to play ebb and flow, that means that we basically we have a, we have a choice of like level up, um, level up Nami, or play the the ebb and flow part of this card. Nope. 
think level up Nami is probably the choice. So we're gonna have to play the pool shark and draw another card, even though I don't want to. We're gonna have the pool shark in here. So I guess I should just play the pool shark first be before the Admiral Shelley happened, though. Could have done that. Wait, what card was that? What just happened? Oh, pick one of three spells and put three copies, three puff caps on all copies of it. Go on then. I think he used best. Does it like the time? Well, Mind Meld being the fleeting card is not ideal, because we don't want to play Mind Meld this round. In fact, we cannot play Mind Meld this round. I guess I shall discard it. We have to do that. I haven't done... I haven't done anything with the Twitch volume ever. It's it's the same as always. Have, uh... How many flash bombs do we have in here? Zero? That's a good number to have. Don't those fools know? I no, I, this is not a good number to have. Oh, they activated? They didn't put more flash bombs in? Hmm. What stops this Shelly? Then I have five mana. Then I'm at like pick a card, pick a card. That doesn't sound so bad actually. It's gonna give me two lethal elusive attackers. <laughs> Alright, so that gives them an elusive blocker. Just as this if this doesn't work, I kind of die. This is so difficult because all the spells we want to play draw cards, but then with the puff caps, this is so difficult. Thank you, Togrek. I appreciate it. That works. Yeah, they only have three cards in hand. Hope this works, because if it doesn't, we are drawing all the cards next round. Oh man, it worked. Woo. That was close. Man, I was scared there. I was very scared. Alright, back to darkness control. So we had a, a fun matchup against Darkness Control that first game. We had our Ballistic Bots go ballistic. Not counting on that happening again. We shall see. I could see keeping the stress testing. It'll be for, like, depending on what we have later.
Okay, nothing to do the first two rounds. Oh man, that card's good. Ah, oh, that card's good. I can't do anything about it though. This is unfortunate. Two of them? What am I supposed to do? Trade... Trade Nami? Man, this is really unfortunate. But what a great start for them. I don't have any good ideas. Yeah, that's great. Killing these things. Holy partner. Alright, good to hear. Dead Dead says I have the perfect schedule. Tune in right after you get off work. Awesome. What wondrous discoveries await below. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a spray fin back. Use, you know, just basically use a little bit of spell mana so I can gain more spell mana. We'll make a couple fleeting cards, but we can go ahead and just hard cast the stress testing and make them not fleeting if that's something that we need to do, or maybe they're cards that we can actually cast. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Which was fates at three. Down to seven. You won't stop me. I guess I'm blocking with you, Nami. No darkness. Hello, wow. That is strong. Yep, I'm worried about that. So if they don't kill Twist of Fate here, we will level up Twist of Fate. I don't, I mean, I, I just don't think we're winning this, right? Like, they had a great, great start with these Catalyzers. I don't think we're really winning this. Alright, don't, don't have the ability to get Gold Card. Who says I don't see? Advanced Intel. Yeah. Alright, good hand opponent. Counterfeit copies. Yeah, pick a card used to be three mana and then just simply draw two fleeting, not, not put or draw three fleeting. So the, I don't really want to play the Daring Poro because then that helps out the Withering Whale. Alright, we got some cards. Lifesteal. And still, this thing does five. Safety is 
They want to play this before attacking so that then they get to attack and create another Senna. Or create another Darkness. Not Senna. I think you were back at the table. Conflict, we grow. Can you improve perfection? Oh. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't win this from here. Destiny to finish the job. But it was a good close game. Um, too powerful of darkness. And this card, this card was very good too. Yeah, they they created a couple of great cards. Something for all. I definitely I did not have that that card in my first darkness build, but I'm gonna be having that card next time. Whenever we're gonna try darkness control out again tomorrow. Oh, they can't play they can't play Destinata anymore. Oh wait, they can't play Destinata anymore. That's good news. Keep up, keep up. Hold it, partner. You can still play seven mana withering whale. Which is a lot of mana. Alright, take care, Nasher. Blocks my ballistic bots. So if I was gonna get excited, the catalyzer. That thing just blocks. Well, still planning on doing that. Yeah. Gotta trust your instincts. I don't know. Here to play advanced intel. I think I'm just gonna use that to put, you know, for like pick a cards and get excited. I'm gonna be able to red card and get rid of the sentinel anyway. I think I'm just gonna put it back into my deck. Monster Harpoon's a great draw. I still don't know how I'm surviving Decinata, but... How much mana is that? That puts me at 9 mana? So I can still play new Twisted Fate and Harpoon this round. Back at the table. Back at the table. No. I give voice to the ocean song. As the serpent We're not technically dead yet. 
We do have a lot of Twisted Fates, because remember, we counterfeit copied Twisted Fate. So we do have a lot of Twisted Fates. Can Twisted Fate pull this out? This would be the biggest upset if we could get this. Oh man, can I play Nami before attacking, before combat? I mean, sure. I will find the moonstone. I will save my. Can we actually pull this off? My quest is dangerous, but I will see it through. Horse says I don't love how Riot's doing the balance patches and prank mechanic. I I completely agree with the balance cha patch changes, but I actually kind of like the prank mechanic. I don't I don't mind it too much. It's, you know, it's obviously supposed to, it's built to, supposed to be annoying to play against. Really wish Rummage was just discard one card. Okay, so I've only done blue, so we still have red, gold. I guess I'm going to discard a Twisted Fate. I love this other not this other Nami draw. Oh, that could go five to my Nexus. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh no. No 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 no. You lost. Because I need I need to create this back. I forgot about that going to the Nexus. I I had this. I just wasn't thinking about that going to the Nexus. Because yeah, because if I would have just done that, I could have done that in response to the red card. Then I would have had this that would have healed my Nexus too. Oh, that's sad. But that's the kind of thing that, you know, I'll definitely remember for next time. That's something that I'm never going to forget about now is that Vagar with the Nexus uh, damage. And that's the thing about, like, making mis mistakes and, and learning with new cards is you have, like, a game like this that happens. And then any other time in the future, I'm going to always be ready thinking about, okay, that Vagar going to be doing that Nexus damage, right? So that's... Um, obviously, I've seen the Vagar do Nexus damage. I knew it did. It's just something that didn't like click in my mind right away. But now, in the future, it will. So hopefully, y'all watching it later on. Hopefully, you saw that. And now, anytime you play against Vagar, you know, think of that. If you're in any kind of situation similar, that you know, you'll learn from uh, that mistake. Um, yeah, I got 14 donation decks. Besides these, not I guess including these three. So after these three, we'll still have 11. So yeah, now we get a lot of people excited to see new decks with the new cards. Sejuani Timo. Like, the purple fish goes great with the bot, but that's still something for a lot later. I don't want to keep stuff for that much later. Yeah, every day we learn something. Nah. What do I do about this thing? This stinky womp, this 2 1. Like, should I block with Ballistic Bot? Do I let it hit me? And just. Because, like, that damage adds up. I guess I have to block. I want that damage to add up. Yeah, that was the problem with the block, though. Okay, well, I'm planning on playing the Songstress. That's why that was just a... That was a very good sequence for my opponent. I was thinking that I was going to be playing the Sprayfin, but withdrawing Twisted Fate, I want to see if they do something else. Okay, no, they have... Red card's not going to work. Let's go and play the Sprayfin. I want to have the blocker. 
Um, you know, they're Frel Yord. They have a lot of ways to protect Teemo if I would just go for killing Teemo with that thing. Like no! No, I wanted to play that! Shelly, I really wanted to play that Shelly. You have to cast a spell for this. Alright, Pool Shark, go block the 3 4. Deal me in. Eyes open. Do I have to? Wait a minute. Do I have to wait a minute? Yes, you do. Three. Fates at four. This place smells like mushrooms. Seven. That wasn't my plan. Uh, my plan was to play the Songstress, but whenever we're at this point, like where we can just level up Twist of Fate like this, kind of have to do it. Eyes open. <clears throat> all right, so we have a very small deck now for like all their puff cap type stuff. We'll have new Twist of Fate next round. So we can play Twist of Fate and Nami. Not a whole lot not a whole lot else besides that. We can do a pick a card. I've been very impressed with this aloof travelers card. Oh. Where are they at? This thing's at 0 out of 5, because I'm still at 20. Down to 14. My quest is dangerous, but I will see it through. Soak it in. Nami so close, 6 out of 7. So close. Okay, so I wanted to keep the spray fin in hand so that I could play spray fin right here. Oh, I guess anything I play is blue card and levels up Nami. I was thinking that I could play Sprayfin and level up Nami, but I guess all this stuff levels up Nami. So let's go with the... Uh, let's just go ahead and go with the ebb. Because, you know, fleeting and all. Now blue card. Level up Nami. Which I guess that should give the plus two plus one. Hmm. Alright. The Mirai will never know fear again. Looks like we're buffing up Twisted Fate. I'm not gonna save the spray fin. I would have to do some work to save the spray fin. Actually, no, I could not save the spray fin. Could I? Because I had to wait for the blue card. We have all the like the frostbite type stuff anyway. So if, if I play Harpoon, goal card goes on top, right? So goal card would do two damage. So I'd, I would waste the goal card. That's unfortunate. So 
I do this. Please hurry. My people can't wait I'm still much wasting longer. the gold card. Okay. Well, that would do four damage to that thing. That'll work out. Dead in their tracks. Do people play the seven mana spell that makes unit round stats for how many spells you played? Mind meld? Yeah, some people have been playing Mind Meld. I've, I've definitely been seeing some Mind Meld recently. Because, yeah, Mind Meld for us would be very large. Gotta think they're just holding on to Flash Freeze. They gotta just be holding on to Flash Freeze. Gotta trust your instincts. I guess we make them use it, though. Just kill me. Okay, they're just gonna block. Foundry. Yeah, I'm kind of out of cards, but good thing I don't have any puff caps. Alright, time for us to go wide. We need to go wide. Tell about the the Nami. We made it. Yay. No. Our boom. Oh, I've never met anyone like you. Yeah, they're gonna try to just so <laughs> get rid of all my cards, basically. Counterfeit copies. I'm gonna be using that on the Nami's ebb. So because they did that control chant, then we got to buff up the purple fish. So that was pretty nice. And let's go ahead and play all three copies of this Nami Zeb. See what it does. There we go. You know, basically kill kill two things, heal some damage, have three spells for Nami, and we're three and one. Poppy. Okay, that's I couldn't see what that other champion was. So we got Poppy Misfortunes, so like Poppy Scouts. That's pretty interesting. We're gonna have um, Poppy Elites up next. So love the Warden, and I guess we keep Ballistic Bot. Ballistic Bot's maybe a little slow. No, I mean yeah, we keep it. Good. The Ballistic Bot's are really necessary for these harpoons. So they have the attack token round three. Oh no! Opponent's so smart. Stony Suppressors. This is a great Stony Suppressor metagame with all these Nami decks and pranks and everything. Wow. Yeah, that's really nice. So I need I need five total mana. No, six six total mana to cast Ignition and Ward and Monster Harpoon. Gross. Where do you stand on cold shots? Something the matter. Hello, you best friend. That works out well. Can you improve perfection? Do I potentially have to? Harpoon Stony Suppressor over Harpooning Misfortune? Maybe. Yeah, I guess so.
No, I think it's gotta be the. I think it's gotta be the stony suppressor first. Surprisingly enough, red card doesn't allow me to still play harpoon as well. If I knew they had bright seal protector next, I, I really wish I would have done it the other way. Now, <laughs> uh, of course, we wouldn't have been able to play that rummage though. I don't. I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just gonna pass because I don't know what to do. Cute when you're armed. Firepower is always in style. Okay, so they're not gonna rummage. Or sorry, they're not gonna rally. That's the word I wanted to say. It was a rally. They're not gonna rally. Oh, I told you, I can't actually fly. Yes, yes, we attuned with this shell shocker. Not exactly sure what I was supposed to do, but it probably wasn't what I just did. Down to eight. This guy, thank you. To so watch your videos on YouTube, finally logged in to check out a stream. Thanks for joining. Everybody in chat is super nice, so um, you know, definitely say hi to everybody there. Thanks for joining, I appreciate it. One, two, three. So, if they have anything to protect Misfortune from Monster Harpoon, we definitely dead. But we pretty dead regardless. Alright, cool. No rallies, please, just pass. Of course, I'm playing, I'm playing this Mirai Warden. Yeah, they had a they had a great curve, right? Like that that stony suppressor really counters me, and then going that into misfortune into island navigator, that was pretty rough. That was the the perfect two three four with that card that really countered me. Oh hey, uh, Daedalus Swain also says been watching on YouTube for the last three four months and just joined in the stream as well. That's great, welcome y'all. Oh, if this was old Zonite Urchin, old Zonite Urchin would have been like a summon draw. Back in the day, Sonnet Urchin was one of the best cards to hit. Alright, definitely gonna need a gold card this Poppy. The good play by them is if they have a pump spell. Okay, they just have that thing. It still stuns, so that's. That's good. If they have a pump spell, they use a pump spell on something else so that I would stun that other thing and not affect their poppy. Now, I still gotta deal with all this, right? Three two-power scouts that don't want to die. And I don't know how I deal with all that. Yeah, I don't know how I deal with this at all. Yeah, um, there's the link here. I'll go ahead. Easy. There's the donate link right there. Basically, whenever you donate for a deck, just either put, you know, basically, you're the boss. Tell me, tell me what you want with it. Um, you can either put the deck code in there if you want a specific deck, or you can ask me to build a deck. I, I can build it for you, or you can put like a deck code in there and ask me to edit it to try to improve it before playing. You know, whatever whatever you want. I'm always up for a round or two. I should probably lead with the warden. Yeah, I just have more Rangers resolves. Something for all of you. No, an ephemeral? Follow my song. 
Uh, I can't afford ephemeral. Yeah, you, you can put the code in the message, in the donation message also, or here in chat, kind of wherever. Yeah, I could not afford that ephemeral. That was that was messed up. Oh, there's my meld. We do have my meld in here. That'll do. Good game, opponent. Good. Curve. Stone Expressor, Misfortune, Island Navigator. That's the dream. Good curve. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, so we ended up 3 and 2 and could have been a 4 1 if I would have cast that uh, Nami's Ebb earlier. Right, we messed up that, that one part, but. Um, yeah, and then we got teched. Yeah, that Stony Suppressor was really good tech against us. Um, so, you know, good. You know, like those are definitely losses that. Um, you know, don't feel so bad, right? You know, like, you're not always going to get teched like that. You know, maybe now now we know how to play our cards better. <laughs> I guess that's a way to put it uh, for the Nami. So, yeah, that was still pretty cool. Definitely enjoyed playing it. Nami just looks really, really strong. And Twisted Fate has always been strong. Um, the Warden was, was a pretty good blocker. I have to say that was not too bad. I could kind of see playing... I don't know, like, like, the Pool Sharks didn't seem necessary. Like, yeah, it was difficult to... Do stuff with the pool sharks. Maybe play some make it rains instead of pool sharks. You know, they are just kind of there to just block a little bit. Yeah, I could see some like make it rains getting in here. You probably don't need mind meld. Mind meld's probably just like kind of like cute as a finisher, but as like an actual card that you need in the deck, probably not. Because like once once the engine gets going and once you get going with Twisted Fate Nami, you know, like you're you're probably gonna win without that. So. All right, we got a donation deck. We'll check that out. But anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Twisted Nami. So if you have any suggestions or ideas, feel free to put them over there in YouTube. I always appreciate all those comments. If you have other just deck ideas you want to see on the channel or anything else, yeah, feel free to put them in the comment section. But that's going to be it here for Twisted Nami. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.